The 18th of September 2016 7:05 p.m. Great Britain's Davis Cup team fell short of another miracle on Sunday in Glasgow, where Dan Evans tried and failed to bring home the bacon in the deciding rubber against Leonardo Mayer. It will be Argentina, then, who travel to Croatia for the final in November. This was always the likely outcome after the British team had suffered a blank first day, losing both their opening singles matches. Comebacks from 2 to 0 down do happen. Evans, as it happens, completed one against Russia only three years ago. But that was the only time Great Britain had managed it since the Fred Perry era. Leo Mayer credit, Getty Images. Still, you had to admire the spirit that the British team showed to keep the tie alive until 6.41pm last night, the moment when Mayer slammed away a drive volley to seal the result. Building on the doubles win he had claimed with his brother Jamie on Saturday, Andy Murray came out in Sunday's opening match at 1pm and dispatched Guido Pella in three straightforward sets to make it 2-2. What made this feat all the more impressive was the fact that he strained a thigh muscle towards the end and had to fight his way through the pain for a 6-3, 6-2, 6-3 victory. When Evans then came out and took the first set 6-4 against Mayer, hurrying his opponent with his quick hands and feet, it seemed as if Leon Smith's men were destined to extend their Davis Cup defense into November, at the very least. But Mayer, despite an unprepossessing ranking of number 114, has real pedigree. He has formally stood as high as number 21 in the world, and came in on a winning run of eight Davis Cup singles matches. Credit, action images. As with one of Murray's recent matches, the turning point coincided with an unscheduled outbreak of noise, this time a blurt from the Argentine traveling trumpeters, which triggered a giggle from the crowd. In the fourth game of the second set, Evans thought he had served an ace, but Mayer stood stock still and umpire Pascal Maria insisted that the ball be served again. Mayer went on to win the point and score his first first break of the match, and from then on he was irresistible, serving like a siege gun and driving through every ball as if the future of his nation depended on it. Evans did his best to apply pressure but every time Mayer went behind in the scoreline on his own serve, he just dug out another couple of aces. Evans tried to stop the rot in a tense 15-minute game at the beginning of the fourth set, eventually seeing off three break points to hold for 1-0. But Mayer was maintaining punishing depth and power, and generally showing the determination that 18 months ago go had carried him through the longest Davis Cup singles match ever played, a 6 hours 42 minute win over Joao Souza of Brazil. That was such a ferocious battle that it persuaded the International Tennis Federation to change the Davis Cup rules, introducing a tie break in the deciding set. Dan Evans won the first set but once Mayer found the groove with his serve could not find an answer to his power credit, AFP.